when the night is calling, hear, hear, the pipes are calling, loudly and proudly calling down through the glen. There where the hills are sleeping, now feel the blood a-leaping, high as the spirits of the old I think Worcester prepared me, well, in many ways, but two ways. One was the focus on um, learning to think critically and think for yourself. Think, don't just take things as given, but um, as a student there you learn to question. The second thing I think is just the value of a liberal arts education, but a liberal arts, a Worcester liberal arts education. I think the main thing that Worcester gave me, or the Worcester experience gave me, was confidence. Uh, I came away from the college feeling like um, that I could succeed at whatever I chose to do. And uh, I think that's um, part of the Worcester philosophy. We pay a lot of attention to class size um, in American higher education. The ratio of students and faculty who work together. At the College of Worcester, every single student has a class with one faculty member for an entire year, their senior year. Independent study wasn't necessarily something that brought me to Worcester, but when, once I was here and learned more about it, I definitely realized how, how big of an opportunity it is and how, how, how it's going to benefit me in the future. And it is an opportunity just for me to completely immerse myself in something that I absolutely love learning about. And even though I am a math French double major and my options are a little limited, I feel like that also makes room for creativity, that I can do something that really no one else has done at Worcester or is likely to be doing. Um, I've had a lot of friends who've come out of this college with really unique and interesting projects and I'm just excited to really get mine on the way and get started with that. I actually had two full scholarship offers at other colleges but the College of Worcester stood out mainly because of the way the faculty and the um, students interacted. It was just, oh, you know, it looked like a wonderful place. You have small classes, the professor inter you know, interrelates with you, and you, um, you don't just take the facts as given, you think things through, and you come to your own determinations, your own decisions. One of the things that I think very early on independent study helped me with was my independent study didn't turn out as I'd hoped. And it, it kind of led me to, into other areas to say, you know, this is actually a viable outcome. A no or this doesn't work is a viable outcome, whereas a lot of people want to see everything work out just fine. This worked out, but not as we'd planned. And it really helped me understand that not all solutions mean that you move forward. Some solutions are, it's enough to say, boy, this didn't work, we need to try something else. I happened upon Worcester by accident. We missed a career fair at another college. My mom took the wrong turn and we ended up stopping at Worcester on our way back through and I fell in love with the campus. I think the first thing that I absolutely love about the town are all the different restaurants that are here and all the different places that you can eat and different cultures that you can actually experience through food. One of my best experiences I'd say was when I went to buy a couch at Goodwill sophomore year and it didn't fit in the car that we had and some stranger from the town offered to put down her seats loaded up in her car and she drove with us to campus just to help me out. There's also a lot of little little stores, little like treasures that you can find um, in both directions, downtown and going uptown as well, which I think I absolutely love. What I really liked about Worcester was that a lot of the students were active. So students were active in either they were active in sports or intramural sports or some of the other activities on campus. People really got involved with things that they liked, and most people got involved with three or four. This past year, we were actually in the championship game for Division III men's basketball. And me and my friends who are home over spring break took the four-hour trip down to Salem, Virginia from the D.C. area just to check us out. And three quarters of that audience were Worcester students, which just really gave me a sense of like the pride that people have for this school. Worcester really, um kind of encourages every student to reach his or her full potential. Uh, there's no sense at Worcester that some people are going to achieve and others are not. And so it's this kind of egalitarian approach to success that um, uh, caused me to believe that I could do uh, whatever I wanted to do.